The best feature of this jacket are this one has got to be my favorite. I've got a big variety of different fall bomber jacket styles that I like to show you and so let's dive right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Ying. I'm a big denim girl in general. And so when I saw the many different types of denim styles that were introduced for this fall season, I was very intrigued by them. And so when I first saw this on the Zara's website, I thought it was such a great casual jacket. The wash looked a bit more worn and very vintage looking than the other denim jackets that I have in my collection. When I first took the jacket out of the package, I thought this color looked a bit off, but I still wanted to try it out and see if it worked with any pieces in my wardrobe. So this jacket has a chest pocket. It also has a really wide elastic band that goes all around the bottom part of the jacket that I feel is a little bit too wide in my opinion. So that's probably one of my least favorite part of that jacket just because the waistband is just so tight. I also like the refined shirt collar on this jacket. The rest of the quality of the jacket was nice as well, very soft fabric, but overall something was just still very off with the color and I had a hard time styling it with other pieces in my wardrobe. So this one was a thumbs down for me. I saw this oversized two-tone denim jacket and I thought it looked really cool because first of all, it is two-tone. I have nothing like it and I thought it would look really cool with some casual pieces. So I got the smaller size, the extra small, and it still felt very oversized to me. As a collarless bomber style collar on the top and two traditional side pockets. I really like that the fabric was very soft and not restricting at all. The bottom elastic band was very nice and comfortable. So far I've been very impressed with all the zippers on the Zara jackets. They look very well made and really heavy duty. I felt this jacket was a lot more easier to style with other pieces in my wardrobe versus the first one. But the fit of this jacket was still too oversized for my taste so this one had to to go back as well. This jacket is from Massimo Dutti and this one had just the right amount of refinement to it but still had a bit of ruggedness which I really really like. When I pulled this out of the box you can tell that this one was very well made way better than the other two previous ones. The best feature of this jacket are the pockets. It has the flat pockets in the front, which are actual real pockets from top to bottom, but it also has two pockets from the side, which I thought was really cool, which means it has four pockets. The gold stitching along the dark denim wash is just beautiful. I paired this jacket with another dark wash denim and I thought it just looked very sleek and elegant. I also want to see how this styled up with a leather skirt and I'm glad I did because I think it looked very chic, casual, and edgy at the same time. I absolutely love the look and the proportions of it all. Massimo Dutti really executed this jacket very well, so I highly recommend this one. So let's move on to jackets that are made out of different types of fabric. This one reminded me of a varsity jacket, but a little bit more modernized and grown up. The fit of this jacket is amazing. I love the wide masculine shoulders. I love that the look was a little bit more refined and has two large flat front pockets and rib detail on the elastic waistband along with the rib detail on the wrist. The fabric is very sleek looking, even though it is a polyester cotton blend. I like that they put snap buttons so that it looks a little bit more casual looking. I wanted to try and style this jacket with different things from casual to a little bit more dressed up. And I think this jacket worked really well with both. So I love that this jacket is very versatile. The next jacket I actually got from the Zara Kids section. I'm normally a size extra small to a small, so I just got the biggest size hoping that it'll fit me. And luckily it did. The overall fit was great, but the arm length was cutting it way too short for me. But luckily it fit me just right. When I saw this style on the website, I loved the style, the look, and the color. And so when I took it out the box, it immediately looked like how I saw it on the website. It's the perfect casual jacket that you know would go with denim and pretty much with anything else in your wardrobe. The fabric is very billowy soft and loose fitting. I know instantly that this jacket would pair very nicely with denim, sweats, and any other casual items in your wardrobe. So I wanted to try it with other items such as skirts and dresses. And I think it worked really well with those pieces. So I was very happy with this jacket. So I think this is a great basic bomber jacket. 
This one has got to be my favorite of the three. When I first added this to my cart, I wasn't really sure about it, but I did think that this would be nice for a going out sort of jacket. And when I took out the box, I was right. It's very basic with a collarless collar and two traditional side pockets and rib detail on the waistband, but it's anything from basic. This satin bomber jacket is perfect if you want to dress up any outfit for sure. The crop jacket is very lightweight and feels luxurious when you slip it on and instantly transforms your outfit to another level. I love pairing this with a leather skirt and a longer maxi dress and my favorite is with this leather pants with pink heels for a fun night out. Now we have a sweatshirt style bomber jacket. I like this jacket obviously for its bomber style cut, but I knew this would be a great throw on for the transitional season. This is a very low key style and a little bit more updated than your regular sweatshirt style jacket. It'll definitely look great with a number of different items, including of course your denim and other casual items. I wanted to style it with something a little bit more different. So I styled it with this pleated leather skirt and I think it came out really cute. And so you can definitely wear this with a number of different things. I really like the oversized fit. I think it draped very nicely and it's really, really comfortable. Now let's move over to leather. I wanted to try other colors other than your normal basic black. This chocolate brown leather bomber jacket instantly reminded me of the jacket that was worn on Top Gun. And so I had to try it out, especially when the leather wash looked a little bit more vintage. But unfortunately, when I received it out the package, it was a bit more stiff and really did not feel very good. It was very odd. It had like a really sort of hard texture, almost like crinkly. So I was not really happy and really dissatisfied with that. For those who are interested, it has a rib detail along the collar waistband and wrist. Very nice zipper hardware, easy to zip up and down. I also have to know that this fit was very oversized and a bit too bulky looking for my taste. Now trust me, the next jacket is way better. This leather bomber looks really great if you're into that whole vintage aesthetic sort of look. I also like that the color of this jacket is not your normal browns and blacks. It is sort of like a olive green and has a well-worn effect to it. The olive green tone is a neutral color, so this will definitely go with a lot of different things in the wardrobe. The fit of this jacket did not feel oversized like the first one. It was very comfortable and looked proportionally right. I really love the way this paired with a metallic top. I think it really neutralized the shininess and I also like the way this dressed down something such as a satin skirt. Now we're moving on to my favorite type of bomber style jacket, which is the quilted version. When I refer to a classic bomber jacket, I refer to the classic flight jackets that was very popular when I was in high school. And I think we used to call them the fly jackets because they were just so cool looking. So when I think about bomber jackets, I just think about casual and dressed down sort of looks. And so when I saw this one from Zara, nothing fancy. I thought it was just the perfect throw on jacket. It was just very simple quilted. It was very basic. It was black, collarless collar, just two side pockets, snap buttons. The quality of this jacket is amazing. It's super plush, oversized, and comfortable. The jacket seriously goes with everything. You'll need this one if you're looking for something that is super casual. I wanted to find something that was a little bit more refined. When I saw this on Mango's website, I liked that the top part was a little bit more fitted and then it eased out a little bit more towards the bottom. When I tried on the jacket, right away I was not a big fan of the two front zipper pockets. It reminded me of the old Burberry quilted style jackets and I feel it's a bit outdated. I did like the fit otherwise, but I felt that the fabric was also a bit too shiny for my taste. Other than those two things, I think it's a very well made jacket and could be very versatile as well. Okay, this one is so cute. I like that it's cropped and quilted. It is more on the fitted side, so I thought it would look really nice if you wanted to dress up an outfit. It's another basic jacket with snap buttons and two side pockets. It pairs very nicely with denim, but I wanted to just try to dress it up. So I tried it with a voluminous skirt and turtleneck, and I think the whole fit looked really good, cozy, and just very beautiful. This wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the review and the try-ons, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.